Well, hi, welcome back to Adventures in Camping. Do you like getting ticks? I don't. Well, today I'm going to tell you what I do to keep the ticks off of me when I'm out in the woods. And I'm going to show you what I mix. Stick with me. We'll get right to it. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you know when I put out a new video. And you're welcome to share these videos. This might be a good one to share. Now, disclaimer. Important disclaimer. Do this at your own risk. I have done it. I have had no side, 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 no side effects. So you can do this and it will keep the ticks off of your clothes and yeah, mostly off of your body. It will help a lot. So let's get to it. Now I know a lot of people use Sawyer um, permethrin, okay? And you know, actually it's kind of expensive for what you're getting. So you're paying whatever the going price is right now. I think last time I looked at it, it was like uh, almost like a dollar an ounce or something, okay? So, what I do is I go to Tractor Supply and I go into the equine section. You know what that is? It's horses, okay? And I buy this. This is for the farm, ranch, whatever, and I mix it myself. Now, on the back, it has, let me pull this down, instructions on how to mix it, okay? Now, you know women say men are dogs? Well, in the back of this, it tells you how to mix it for a dog, okay? So, I take the instructions and I mix it for a dog and I spray it on my clothes instead of buying that expensive Sawyer mix, which is this stuff, okay? Oh, and there's another thing you need to think about um, when you're mixing this, okay? You can spray it on a dog, probably a larger dog. I don't think I'd spray it on a small dog, according to the instructions, okay? This is what they say, not what I say. So, listen to them and not me, okay? But, do not, and it says it in this, do not spray it on cats. It will kill a cat, all right? And if you spray it on your clothes, you need to let your clothes dry completely. So that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to mix it, and then I'm going to show, I'm going to show you how I spray it on my clothes. Let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, here we have our one gallon bug sprayer. We don't want anybody to grab a hold of this and use it on something that they shouldn't. So we're going to mark it. May or may not be spelled right. I'm sorry. I don't care. They get the idea. Okay, now I need to fill this up with one gallon of water. Now I have my one gallon of water in my insect sprayer and I have an older bottle of permethrin I want to use up first. I like to have an extra on hand just in case that's me. Don't remove this whole thing. That way you don't have, that way you have the instructions. One of these bottles will last you probably a couple summers if it's just you going in the woods. So now hopefully you can see this. If you look at it, you will notice that this is for dogs direct application. And it tells you how much permethrin you want to add to a gallon of water. So I want 0.65 of an ounce, just a little about five eighths of an ounce, okay? That's all I need. Now imagine if you're spending 20 bucks, or sometimes you can get this on sale for, I got it on sale before for $16. How long this is gonna last? 
I've had this one for a couple years. How much money will you save? So, as you see, I have marked it so you can read the amount. Take that cap off, give it a squeeze, it's going to fill it up to about 5 eighths. Then pour it in. See how it turns white and cloudy in there. You want to agitate it a little bit. You dirtbag! You rotten scum! You need to pull your weight. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong kind of agitation. Hang on a second. Well, I always get agitated when people talk to me that way, so I thought maybe it would work with this. I guess maybe we better do it this way. Okay. Now, we want to pump it up some. Whoops. Hey, here's an idea. Make sure the sprayer is off. What was that, about six or seven of them? About it. All right. Now, I'm going to apply it to my clothes. You do not want to get your hands into this stuff. It is a poison. Okay, so now I have flipped over my clothes, I have sprayed them, and they're drying the rest of the way. And my hats. Now like the Sawyer, this stuff lasts, I believe it lasts uh, six wash loads or uh, in a month, or maybe a month and a half, maybe six wa wash loads in six weeks. Um, but it will last a long time and it, it will stay in your clothes for several wash loads. So you don't have to worry about it, just kind of keep an eye on how much you're washing these clothes or how long you're using these clothes. And if they can walk into the woods by themselves, it might be time to wash them. Now I also make a stronger mix that I take out into the woods, into my campsite or on my trails. My wife likes to take our dog for a walk and she uses my trails, so it's about that time of the year to go out and uh, spray things down a little bit so she's less likely to get ticks. My wife doesn't like the idea of spraying poison on her clothes. Me, I don't care. I'm going to die from something anyway. So hey, why not just not die from, oh, a tick bite, which could result in what? Rocky Mountain spotted fever or uh, Lyme disease or something else? Die from something. Hey. Okay. Be ready or be a victim to circumstances. Y'all come back now. You hear? Check out the links that I'm posting to some of the other videos. And remember, subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you know when I put out a new video. Thanks for watching.